home, I bet you bloody do. Went in for a toothbrush, come out with all these toys. Oh, what big teeth you have, Grandma. Oh, the better to numb you with. Ha ha. Oh, they are big and scary. I'm so happy. A little bit buzzing. It's great. Well done, me. <laughs> everyone me again welcome back to X Amelia X it's actually Tuesday today um, I really just didn't feel good to film yesterday so I thought I'd wait until I was back in the brain space to say hello to you guys um, vlogging for the first time in my new car Toby's obviously loving it in the back there not um, so yeah I've just taken Toby out for a little walk so I needed some fresh air and I've had just a crazy busy morning of admin and editing and all sorts so yeah hope you guys are well I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog that goes up tonight so we shall see you later um, and yeah I just I hope you're all good I've got nothing to report really it's gonna be another crazy busy week for me but hopefully by the end of this week I should have cleared a lot of stuff and on Saturday it's my very first Bumble event so I'm really excited for that I'm a little bit nervous that no one's gonna turn up um, but yeah really excited excited good week ahead just a busy week and um, probably boring on the vlog front but it's fine whoa crazy Audi slow down so yeah I'll catch up with you guys later so I'm the biggest moron ever I thought I had more of my tablets left than I did because when they upped my dosage it meant that I I got some more of I had basically it was then taking 20 milligrams and 10 milligrams to make 30 but I had more of the 10 than I had the 20 so I basically thought I'd got longer than I had and I looked this morning and I realized that I have none left and I run out today which is a big big problem so I tried to get in at my doctor's they have no emergency appointments left nothing um and they were like we haven't got any routine appointments until next week and I'm like uh guys this is kind of an emergency and i explained it and she was like yeah no sorry nothing we can do to help so i'm having a massive panic so i'm currently on push doctor i know i keep banging on about this but genuinely it's changed my life i'm on push doctor in the waiting room they're running a little bit late actually um and i'm just paying to see one of those because they can fax over the prescription straight away and i can go and pick it up tonight which is really good and then i won't miss any dosage but i'm, I'm such an idiot i'm an absolute idiot because I just I just thought I just thought I had more than I did when um yeah I need to be more prepared next time for sure but they can um, they can share notes with the GP so basically when I go in and see my GP the next time she'll know that I've had what I need and, and whatnot anyway so yeah all hail push doctor and this isn't sponsored <laughs> just genuinely it's pretty much changed my life and Lucy's life um I've converted everybody that I know <laughs> I'm just, I'm normally so much more prepared than this. I'm just kicking myself that I didn't check this earlier, but I've just been so busy and I've just completely forgot. And I think the problem is it's become so just like normal and natural to me to take them every night and I just feel great. Um, kind of just, I don't even think about it anymore. So that's the reason why, but yes, do not skip dosage. That is um, a big worry. So hopefully Push Doctor can save the day. I'll let you know. Push Doctor have saved the day. So I'm going to go and collect my prescription right now. It's uh, half past five. So they've found a pharmacy near me that's still open for a little bit. And thank goodness, I'm not going to miss any dosage. So yeah, Whew, thank goodness. Obviously, it's cheaper to go to your GP because it's completely free. But um, I don't care because <laughs> it was an emergency. So it's well worth paying for. Right, Toby, guard the house. I should be back in a mo. I look so disheveled today. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just, I was, it's been one of those days where I've just not even looked in the mirror and I don't even care. So it's about half past nine and I've only just finished work. I just got on a bit of a roll. Do you know what? I just got on a bit of a roll and I didn't stop. And actually it's done me the world of good because it means I've kind of got a little bit under my belt. Anyway, so I'm going to watch I'm a Celebrity. I'm going to make myself a mug of rose lemonade tea. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. I look so rough. Oh my God. Good morning everybody! Woken up looking just as rough as I did yesterday. I need a suntan, I really do. Um, thank you very much for all your comments. This is on the weekly vlog. I'm just going through and replying to them all now. Um, and then cracking on with my work for the day. I'm so, I feel really bad about last week's vlog because I know it was like super boring and this week isn't gonna be much better until the weekend when I've got my Bumble event. <gasps> very exciting. Um, but yeah, I just feel a bit bad because it's just a bit boring. But thank you very much for sticking with me. Hopefully my social calendar will get a bit more exciting over the coming weeks but um even though it's not that exciting at the moment i feel okay about it does that make sense i don't know 
Hello Toby, yes. You've just been trying to eat my toast. And now you're licking my knee, that's normal. Right, it's 2 p.m. I'm going for a walk with the doggo. <laughs> because if we don't go now, it's gonna be dark soon because today's weather is horrible. Those stop scrabbling! I got him a new anti-pull harness thing that attaches at the front. It's really good. I just got it off eBay. I think it was a tenner. Um, but it's broke and I'm really annoyed. And I tried to email them and say, um, hello, it's broken. It shouldn't break that quickly. And apparently my eBay account's been hacked. So I need to sort that out this afternoon. It's just not what I needed. But yeah, it worked really well because it fastens at the front like a normal harness and it just stops him from pulling. But for now, he's back on the collar, which I don't like because he does get excited and pull and it's not good for their throats. But for one day, I think you'll be all right. He's so excited, I better go. Just carrying my dog around like a baby. <laughs> Don't look my face. <laughs> He's getting so big, look how big he is. <laughs> he was just like giving me a lovely cuddle. I wanted to go and get my camera and then I was like, I don't want to move him. <laughs> so we did it this way, didn't we? You look mental, you look like a little shark. Look at those big boy teethies. Dobby. <laughs> Dobby, you're so big. Look how big you are. You're not puppy anymore. You're not puppy anymore. <laughs> I love your monster. I love your monster. I feel like I'm going a little bit mad today. <laughs> the only time I've left the house is to take him for a walk. So I think I'm going to go to um, Aldi and get some cheapo ingredients and cook tonight. I think I might make my infamous chili prawn chili prawn linguine which is just basically a bit of white wine butter loads of garlic red chili and prawns in like uh, in a, like a little buttery white winey sauce it's lovely it's very fattening but i don't care i feel like i just need that and um yeah i'm just in one of those moods where I, like, I want something really tasty and i'm not even bothered about whether it's healthy or not just just want to be taken on a journey with food I am going mad. I am actually going mad. <laughs> I need to talk to another actual human. Luckily Lucy's coming around a little bit later um, to pick some stuff up. So she'll probably stop for a cup of tea, which will be nice. Hello. Hello, monster. I'm excited for my Bumble event on Saturday. Um, so you have to meet loads of new people, which is great. It gets me out of the house, keeps me off the streets, etc. I just think it's a perfect opportunity. And there's my pants in the back there. It's just perfect, isn't it, really? It's everything that we wanted, because it gets me out of the house, gets me seeing people, get to make new friends, and um, the money's also good as well. So yeah, I just feel like, in that respect, everything's just sort of worked out. I know we had a few tricky months back there didn't we where everything just seemed to be going wrong i don't regret it because that was life at the time and do you know what that was before i um got diagnosed with my depression so it kind of makes a lot of sense now as to why everything was really getting on top of me whereas the the kind of the problems i suppose didn't really justify the moaning <laughs> but it, when you're depressed then everything just feels like the worst thing in the world but yeah i just feel like we're getting back to it and even though these vlogs are a little bit boring at the moment because i'm just really busy and not really leaving the house much <laughs> to vlog anything interesting i just feel like we're getting back there because i just felt like i lost my identity as the cup half full kind of girl for a little while um and now I feel like she's she's on her way back, you know? I've had a bit of a crap time with health this year, let's be honest. Water infections, backs, mental health. Um, but, and you know, a slow couple of months with the business, which obviously is just, anybody who's freelance or anybody who works for themselves will know just how stressful. I mean, money issues in general, when things are tight and, you know, if you lose a job or something, it's just, it's so stressful. But when you're working for, on your own and you've only got your income coming in, it's scary. It really is. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to show that reality. Um, you know, we're not here to sugarcoat anything. Working for yourself is hard. Being a YouTuber doesn't bring in the big bucks, but it is enough to live on if you work smart and work hard. Um, you know, but it's not glitz and glamour that you might see with everybody else so i just think it's really important to keep showing that to everybody and the same with the puppy thing you know that's hard raising a puppy i was knackered all the time and living with depression that's hard as well and i just i haven't chosen the hands that i've been dealt this year 
but I have chose to represent them in the most honest and straightforward way possible. I feel like we're finally getting back on it and I'm looking forward to the new year and um, we can just put this year behind us, learn from the things that have come our way and move forward, so yeah. And thanks for sticking with me when we've had a bit of a shitter. <laughs> Oh, what big teeth you have, Grandma. Oh, the better to numb you with. Ha ha. Oh, they are big and scary. <laughs> Your big adult teeth. They're going to bite me. They're going to bite me. What if I do that? What if I poke you in the eye? What if I poke you in the ear? What if I put your finger in your brain? No brain. Finger in your mouth. <laughs> oh, you're such a good doggy. I love you so much. Hey, Jill. Look at his poorly nose, look. He's got the scar on his nose. I hope that doesn't last forever. No licking. You're not allowed to lick people. Oh, Mum, I can't bite you. I can't lick you. I can't do anything fun. I know. We want you to be a pet dog, though, don't we? And you can't lick people. So Lucy came around earlier and she bought me this lovely bouquet of roses and number four, well it's pick up, I'm not turning the light on, I'm too lazy. Number four, reed diffuser from Aldi which smells exact, I didn't even even know that they did a number four until um, I smelled it in Lucy's. It smells exactly like my Jo Malone perfume. Good morning everybody, goodness me, sorry for the yawn. How are we today? Happy Thursday. I look horrendous, my hair needs washing. <laughs> I was doing the whole, I'm gonna go to the gym thing. I've still sacked it off again, but that's life. Um, so, hope you well. Oh, gonna get steamed from the kettle. I've got loads of work to do, loads of editing to do today. Had a good day yesterday, gonna have another good day today. We're gonna break the back of it, and yeah, I'm excited. Oh my goodness, it's Friday tomorrow, and then the day after that is my Bumble event. Getting very excited, pretty much everybody's RSVP'd. So we've got, we've got a full house. I'm just really excited for it. I'm just, I probably should be nervous, but I'm not. I'm just, just excited to crack on. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave you here because I'm gonna get started for the day. And yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely week so far. Just in a good mood today, in a really good mood. Oh, one of those days where it just all runs away from you, but I have managed to wash my hair at least and get loads of stuff done. So now I'm just uh, putting away my washing, <laughs> which is about, three, four days overdue. It was dry ages ago, but just haven't been bothered. And uh, I'm gonna carry on cracking on, just making another cup of tea. Busy, busy bee in, oh, squeaky toys everywhere. This house is a mess. I wasn't gonna talk about this online because it just feeds them and it's just exactly what they want, but somebody's brought to my attention the fact that there's a load of people that get together to just bitch about me online and <sighs> do you know what? I'm not sad that about what they've said because everything that they've said is absolute bullshit for a start and it's just not true. I'm just sad. It just makes me sad that there's people out there that actually do this. That like we all know that trolls exist but it just like really hit me today the fact that people actually take time out of their day and just sit down and bitch about people that they don't even know and make judgments about them it's just it's not right it's not normal <laughs> And if this is you, because I know it is, you're watching this. That's the stupid thing. I know you're watching this because these comments come in every week. So that means you waste half an hour of your life watching my videos when you think that all I do is moan. I can see the irony of the fact that I'm crying and moaning about this. But you say all that I do is, all I do is moan and I can't support myself with this job, which is just bullshit. I can't. I had a couple of broke months, but welcome to being freelance. But now we're back on track. But of course I can't sit here and say that because if I sit here and say actually I'm doing quite well, then people will be like, oh, well, you're doing well just boasting about how much money you get for doing nothing. <sighs> it's not the hardest job in the world, but you know what? Running any business and supporting yourself is tough. I don't care what anybody says. It's a risk that you take, and it's a risk that I've taken, and you know what, it's working out pretty well. Don't take for granted the fact that I'm so honest, and I share everything with you guys. 
and use it against me. Because I've had a shit year this year. I like to think I'm a fairly positive person, but when you've been through what I went through last year and having to rebuild everything, and yeah, do you know what? I probably was running before I could walk with a lot of things. And I thought I was better before I actually was. And the fact that I only got my diagnosis for depression two months ago, yet yeah, I've been suffering for the past four or five, probably goes to show why I've been a little bit moany or run down or not being able to do a lot. It's one thing to say that you don't like someone because they're a bit of a bitch or whatever, but don't you dare ever bring mental illness into things. It's just not right and it's not fair. And whether you hate me or not, whatever you might think of me, do not ever bring mental health into it because you never know who might be reading those comments let alone the person it's actually written about. But if there's somebody else reading your comments, they could be really damaging. And the worst thing is, I know most of the people who are commenting in this forum and they leave comments on my vlogs saying nice things and then go and bitch about me in these forums. Don't, for a second, don't think that we don't know who you are. It baffles me that you think in today's day and age, we can't figure out who you are. And it's just hurtful because then you go through and you look all the interactions you've had with these people and then they've been like really nice to your face and then are saying all these behind your back and it's just, it's just sad. And there's going to be people there and they've even said it themselves, if you can't handle it then don't do this job. But if somebody was nasty to you in your workplace you'd go to HR and they'd be reprimanded for it. But we don't have that option here. In a normal office job, people would be looked after and it would be stopped because it just wouldn't be acceptable. Whereas apparently it's acceptable in this job and it shouldn't be. And unless people, the reason why I speak out about it and show you how it affects me is not to get likes or views or sympathy. It's to show you that it's affecting me and that we're real people. If you are one of those people that is there, sat there talking about me or anybody else for that matter, just go to your nearest mirror or get your phone out and flip it onto selfie mode and look at your face and look at you as a person and think about if this is how you're spending your life, why? What have we ever done to you? It's not okay. It's not what's needed on this channel. So just, just have a think about what you're doing and if you haven't got anything nice to say or you don't like a person, unsubscribe. Go and watch somebody else. There's many other YouTubers out there. That is all. Morning everybody, happy Friday. I am on a roll today. So I have officially got my next two Bumble events all booked in so if you're interested in coming along i'll tell you now because they're coming up pretty soon so the first one is another um bloggers event but it's a bloggers business brunch so if you want to come along if you're working if you're an influencer or you have a high instagram account a uh, high numbered instagram account or you've got a blog and you're in the birmingham area you work for yourself you can come along to harvey nichols on um at 10 a.m on friday the 15th of december and come along and enjoy brunch with a glass of prosecco, loads of coffee, nice like avocado, smashed sourdough bread, like a really fancy lunch. Um, I have enough spaces for 20 people, so you can come along and just network a little bit. I'm gonna be, it's gonna be bloggers, but I'm also opening up to business people in the area. Same rules apply, download Bumble um, to get in and also post a photo on Instagram from the day. And my second event is going to be a dating event woo -woo, um, from <laughs> also on the 17th of December, which is the same weekend. Uh, and that's going to be at Hollywood Bowl in Birmingham. 
Now I have space for up to 30 people for this one. You get a game of bowling, you get snacks of nachos, and there's also a soft drink there for you. But you can also buy alcohol from the bar if you want to make it a boozy one. Um, but yeah, that'll be really good. Even if you're not looking to date, if you want to make friends, it's, it's like a friends and dating one, but it just means that we can invite boys and girls. Um, yeah, if you want to come along, it's 5 p.m. on the Sunday. I'll leave all the information for the um, stuff down below, but I've just had my venues call me and confirm paid money over the phone for the first time um which is which is weird because <laughs> i haven't even paid for my event tomorrow i'm going to pay for that when it finishes but yeah paid money big chunk of money for you guys to have some fun so yeah i'm really excited i'll leave all the info down below and if you want to come there's plenty of um spaces and there's also plenty of notice for this one should be really fun should be good so yeah i'm on a roll and um benefit contacted me the other day they want me to do like a little instagram takeover with them in the new year which is amazing because i love benefit <laughs> they have just sent through this epic parcel of stuff to just help me get involved with everything i'm i'm very 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 overwhelmed um but it's with their bright vibes only campaign so it's just things that make you happy in life um which is right up my street i think cut path full kind of girl so yeah really exciting times at the moment um i know i keep saying it but i am i am sorry that these vlogs are just um a bit boring at the minute because i'm just like head down work 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 but it's all coming together and i'm really excited so i hope to see some of you guys at my bumble events that'll be really fun and uh, maybe you'll see my posts on benefit exciting another manky looking mashed together omelette feta cheese beetroot and mushrooms with salad because i just needed to get some veggies in and something quick and something that was in the fridge because i've got no food in but it's really tasty <laughs> Right, I am done for the evening. It's only 10 past five, can you believe it? It's like pitch black outside. I know I say this every day, but still not used to it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself all dressed up now because I'm gonna go and review Bar and Block in Birmingham for their new festive menu. One of my favorite parts about my job is a free meal. <laughs> um, yeah, really excited because the last time I went there, they did an amazing steak, um, which surprised me because they're a beef eater um like brand which is not like super fancy at all in this country and their bar and block branches just sort of like specify in steaks and meat cuts it was so good so i'm very excited to see what they've got on their festive menu and i feel like a glass of red wine is in order i want to get proper festive so i'm going to pop on a nice cozy outfit maybe put some makeup on and maybe curl my hair if i've got time even though i've only left myself half an hour <laughs> just been so busy today um yeah and we're just going to go and enjoy life I'm talking to Siri. Isn't this the ultimate sado text message to receive on a Friday night? <laughs> Nobody loves me except Papa John's. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers are the best thing ever. Although I've got a rather festive duck terrine and it's really nice. It's making me feel super Christmassy. Oh my goodness, get in my belly. <laughs> Seriously guys, the steaks are so good here. Sorry to all the vegans and vegetarians, but oh my god, I'm in heaven. I'm actually in heaven. And I've got a lovely glass of Melbourne as well to go with it. Best Friday night ever. Mince pie ice cream, oh my goodness. Sorry for the dishevelled uh, appearance. I've just been rolling around with Toby on the floor. I've come up with this new game that I find incredibly exciting, and so does he, where I get him to go on the bed or on the sofa or somewhere. And then I go, oh, it's the snuggle monster. And I go like this, how, how, how. <laughs> and then he gets really excited and his bum starts wiggling and then I like just roll him on his belly and kiss his belly and he loves it. That is so sad. Do not tell anybody, but I don't care. <laughs> I just love him so much. And coming home to him is the best thing ever. It just, it, you are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yes, had an amazing, just wipe the dog slobber off my chin there, um, <clears throat> had an amazing night at Bar and Block. I really love that place and it was absolutely packed as well, which makes me happy because the first time I went there was when they very first opened and they asked me to come down and promote them a little bit because they were brand new. You do not need to go out, you've just been out already. Um, they asked me to come down and promote them because they were brand new. So I did, and I was really, really impressed. But there wasn't really that many people in there because they'd only just opened. Going down tonight on like at seven o'clock on a Friday was just awesome because it was absolutely 
absolutely heaving. There were so many people in there and everybody was having such a good time and it just had such a great atmosphere in there that I just thought, oh, I'm really proud of this place. And they properly deserve it because the steaks, oh, Oh, unbelievable. I had a ribeye tonight. Now, normally I have fillet steak, um, but I went for a ribeye because it said that it had a richer flavour and it really does. And they just cooked it to perfection. They've got beef dripping, triple cooked chips. <laughs> Amazing. Peppercorn sauce. And then I had chocolate brownie with mince pie ice cream, which was really interesting. It was kind of, I'd like liken it to a rum and raisin kind of thing, because it was obviously like brandy with um, dry fruits in, but oh, it was so good. Like, really, really good. And then we just had their cheapest bottle of Malbec, which is only about 17 quid a bottle, which in a restaurant I think is pretty good for really decent wine just awesome just absolutely awesome had a great time so if you are in birmingham and you fancy a good steak head on down to the beef eater bar and block um it's on waterloo street which is just up from the botanist you'll find it if you go like turn at the at temple street after muji you'll find it up there just awesome really awesome and the new festive menu <laughs> is so good like really good value as well Ooh had a duck and chicken terrine to start with like a festive chutney oh so good um and i think you get like a glass of prosecco we went for like a bottle of malbec instead but with the festive menu i think you get like a glass of prosecco on arrival it's just awesome i'm well up for like christmas food christmas food is my favorite favorite food i'm not a massive like roast dinner fan i'll be honest so like christmas dinner actually doesn't i enjoy christmas dinner because i don't really eat roast dinners throughout the year so it's the one time i have it but I'm just, I love pate, I love cheese boards, I love melted camembert, I love terrines, like the duck and orange terrines that you get, I love all the chutneys, oh, I am down for Christmas food, and I'm starting to feel a bit festive, especially because I walked through the Christmas markets as well, and I was like, oh, just want to have a stein, but I was all on my own, back to the train station, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was good, really, really good, highly recommended, well done, guys, and now I get to snuggle up with my puppy, oh my goodness, we're gonna make a rose lemonade tea and we're gonna watch Gogglebox and we're gonna snuggle. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It is Bumble event day. I have two gigantic boxes full of stuff <laughs> that I need to sort out. I'm gonna go on a hunt for balloons as well this morning. They were supposed to send them in the boxes but they haven't arrived. So I'm gonna go to a local balloon store and see if they can put something together for me last minute i'm not holding my breath but we'll see if we can make it work we can make it work um i'm also gonna hunt down some flowers i was gonna get some like real yellow roses or something but then i thought why don't i try denelm and see if i can get some faux ones and then i can use them for every single event so i'm gonna go and investigate because it's quite close to the balloon store anyway but first a cup of tea however bumble have sent through a lovely little gold mug for all of my local bees <laughs> it's got a little little bee on it and it says bumble on the other side so i stole a one just for this morning because <laughs> one of my local bees has pulled out so i'm gonna steal her mug and have my tea from it as a bit of a motivational morning uh, and then i need to really get cracking i need to wash my hair Use them with this, figure out what I'm gonna wear, and go and do last minute shopping bits and bobs, and then get myself into Birmingham. Oh my goodness. And grandma's coming to look after you for the day, so you are gonna get spoiled. <laughs> Right, so I have my balloons. I've also got, I've also bought some fake flowers and a vase and a chalkboard so I can write all of the um, hashtags and the handles on there for everybody to quote. It's now snowing outside, so I think I'm gonna drive to Birmingham instead of getting the train, which I'm good about because there's a few people that have dropped out and I was hoping to drink all of their Prosecco <laughs> to get me through the day because I'm so nervous now. But um, no, I'm gonna drive. I can still have a glass just to dull the pain. But no, I'm excited, I'm excited. But I'm popping this in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I got this last Christmas and I still haven't drunk it yet. Or maybe I got it for my birthday, I don't know. But I forgot I had it. So I'm popping this in the fridge. And if it goes well, I'm gonna drink that this evening and toast to myself. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? That is really sad, but nobody's free tonight. So I was like texting everybody going, are you free? So we can either drown sorrows or celebrate and no one's free. So never mind, never mind. Yeah, tuck in. 
and that is a wrap on my very first Bumble event. It was so good, everybody had such a great time, the food was awesome, and yeah, just amazing. I'm very sweaty though, very hot in this jumper. I'm definitely gonna have to wear a t-shirt next time, but I'm so happy, a little bit buzzing, it's great, well done me. <laughs> So Rituals have just opened up a store in Grand Central in Birmingham and oh my god, it's heaven in here. It smells amazing. I love their re-diffusers. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. It's like half past six, even though it feels a lot later. And uh, yeah, I just went into the centre to meet my friend Chloe. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. I really need to go back to the gym. I went into the centre to meet my friend Chloe from Wonderlust Chloe, travel blogger, who is always travelling the world so I never get to see her unless we like match up on a press trip but she's here doing some stuff for Visit England so I thought I'm not going to miss her being in Birmingham at the same time I am. I'm going to go and meet her for a drink so I just went and, oh my god so many messages, um, I went and had a little drink with her which was really nice. Oh, and I am so tired, my feet are burning. Should not have worn new boots on the day where I was going to be doing a lot of walking. Yeah, I'm leaving, no worries. There are plenty of other spaces, you can go in one of those. Um, where was I? Yeah. Oh, I, just, I feel like I haven't stopped and even now people are asking for my parking space. So I need to uh, figure out how to get home with the sat nav and then, oh, PJs and I am so hungry. I am so hungry. <sighs> I've pretty much ate like a few pieces of sushi and maybe like one cake because I was so nervous. So yeah, I need to go home and I'm gonna order a takeaway. I'm gonna get in my pajamas, soak my feet and then just watch some telly all night long. Oh successful day but long day hey guys happy sunday sorry i haven't vlogged today i was absolutely knackered when i got back in last night i had my bottle of fizz and i watched some tv went through all the photos sorted that all out went through thanked everybody looked through the hashtag everyone else's photos are amazing sorted out my expenses and then it was like 11 o'clock at night and uh, so i just sat and watched i'm a celeb and drank my fizz and just collapsed on the sofa i <laughs> woke up on the sofa at 4 a.m <laughs> Oh, I was so, so tired. And then this morning, I didn't get up until 11 because I obviously needed the sleep. And I was cuddled up with the little dog and I just, I was just, yeah, anyway. So, been sort of chilling today. Um, actually, no, I haven't, I've been working. I've been uh, lining up my Bangkok blog post, so I hope you guys enjoyed reading that. Um, and now I'm just gonna head out. I'm gonna go to Pesa Home. You wanna go to Pesa Home? <laughs> We're gonna go to Pesa Home and get him a toothbrush and toothpaste because now his teeth are coming through, I wanna make sure that they're all super clean and healthy and nice, and his breath stinks. So yeah, toothpaste. And uh, maybe he might pick up a little treat, a little toy, because he was so good with grandma yesterday. <laughs> and then this evening I'm heading out for dinner to celebrate my event last night. So yeah, pretty sort of normal Sunday, I guess. But um, yeah, feeling good, feeling really proud, feeling just, feeling just good. <laughs> Do you like going to pets at home? I bet you bloody do. Went in for a toothbrush, come out with all these toys. So I'm just editing the weekly vlog and I realised that I completely forgot to say goodbye yesterday. So uh, I thought I'd just quickly film it now for you. Thanks very much for watching guys. Sorry it's been a bit of a um, rumbly one. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it as always. Thank you so much for your comments and I'll see you next week. Bye! I've come into next to swap my stuff and it's dangerous in here. All the home stuff, it's so gorgeous. Little puppy, little puppy, did you enjoy your walk? Woo, woo. I feel like I'm looking pretty snazz.